Welcome to this or that video series. Produced by UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today, we are going to explore two similar native plants to Florida, the spider lily and the swamp lily. Here are a few tips to help you the next time you encounter one of them. For these two species, it's important to note the leaves, flowers, and habitat. So let's check them out. Things off, the leaves of the swamp lily are spirally arranged at the base of the plant, which means they start from the soil and grow up in a circular direction. The leaves can grow up to three feet long and three inches wide, often described as a strap-like leaf. Flowers of the swamp lily are showy, white, and fragrant. There are six separate narrow petals in total, which can range from four to six inches long. There's from two to six flowers in total on a long, single stalk. As the common name suggests, swamp lilies can be found near wetlands such as swamps, marshes, and wet hammocks. Now, let's look at the spider lily. Upon first glance, you can see how they could be confused for the swamp lily as both produce large, strap-like leaves and showy white flowers. However, the leaves of the spider lily are alternately arranged on the stem of the plant, which means that the leaves move in a zigzag pattern on the stem. Similar to the swamp lily, the leaves of the spider lily can ultimately reach a height of two to three feet. Flowers of the spider lily, though, are unusually shaped. There are six petals on each of the three to ten flowers the spider lily can produce, but the distinguishing feature is the few stamens which create a shallow cup or umbrella shape in the middle of the flower. This distinguishing characteristic is highlighted in the genus of the spider lily's common name. Hymen translates to membrane in Greek, emphasizing this unique characteristic of the flower. The petals are a white, fragrant, and delicate part of the flower. Like the swamp lily, the spider lily also occupies similar wetland habitats throughout Florida. However, the spider lily is more tolerant to drought and salt spray than a swamp lily is, and thus can be found in coastal areas too. So, the next time you see these plants, remember to take a look at the leaves, flowers, and note the type of habitat where you're seeing the plants. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your UFIFAS Extension Pinellas County office.